In this video I'm going to talk to you about low variance versus high variance strategies when you first start doing low risk casino offers. So hey guys, thanks for clicking onto the video. My name's Liam and uh, in this video I'm going to talk to you about, like I just said, low variance versus high variance casino strategies. Now when you first start doing low risk casino you're probably going to find yourself asking this question, do I go for the low variance strategy which is highly efficient but it takes quite a long time to do or do I go for the high variance strategy, increase my spin size on these slot machines and on blackjack games and roulette spins and things like that? Do I increase my spin size, blast through offers really quickly, but have a load of variability where I go on losing streaks and winning streaks, it's all a little bit chaotic. So this video is gonna help you decide which strategy is gonna be for you, whether that be the low variance or the high variance strategy. So just before I jump in, I just wanna say that I use Odds Monkey to find my casino um, offers and things like that so you can see it's got loads of different things related to casino because it's got the casino hub so everything on here is all about casino offers um, the EV calculator down here in the bottom left hand corner is really good if you get any offers via email for working out the EV slots database lets you know the RTP and the level of variance that each uh, slot machine has online and each blackjack table or roulette table or whatever um, and then obviously you get the, like the reload offers in this tab um, and then new account offers here and training guides down there at the bottom. The only thing that Odds Monkey don't give you is like a tracking software so you can track your profits over a period of time, you know, using a graph or something like that. But I actually have one of those myself. So if you do want my graph and you do want to use it to track your profits from low risk casino, drop me a comment just down below and I'll email it to you, no questions asked. So without further ado then, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump on my computer screen, I'm gonna walk you through whether or not you should start using the low variance strategy, or you should go all in using the high variance strategy. So let's jump over to the computer screen and let's look into it a little bit further. Okay, so casino offers, low variance versus high variance. It's a really good question this, and it gets asked by a lot of people when they first start doing casino offers. How should they go about doing their casino offers? Should they go for the low variance strategy where they're staking really small and it takes quite a long time, but it's pretty efficient, or should they go for the high variance strategy, which takes you know next to no time at all? You can blast through offers really quickly, but it's highly variable and it's not really efficient in the short term. So it's a good question: low variance versus high variance. Um, so we go through this presentation. Uh, strategy one was the strategy that I was using when I was doing these casino offers, and uh, that strategy is max lines, min stakes, and it's the low variance strategy. So when you're doing this strategy, you would pretty much expect to see this on your profit and loss graph. If you had a profit and loss graph, this is what you would expect to see. You can see the orange line represents the EV that I accumulated this month, and the profit and loss uh, line is the green line. And as you can see, there is a little bit of variability, but these two lines pretty much work in tandem for the most part. And there's a really good correlation between the two lines. Now this is because I'm using a really highly efficient strategy which um, as you can see there it's a slow efficient strategy so it does take quite a long time because you're using 10 p's and 20 p's on your on your spin size so you're taking a long time to wager so if you're wagering 10 pound to get i don't know 33 spins you'd have to do 100 10 p spins to wager that 10 pounds so it does take a long time wagering at small spin sizes but you can see as a result of that it's a highly efficient strategy and you're pretty much going to follow the ev line very very closely in terms of your profit and loss so strategy one is highly efficient but it is a little bit slower and you generally would do strategy one using like 10 p's and 20 p's so a really small spin size on whatever slot machine you were using whereas strategy two is just the opposite of that again you're using max lines so you're using as many lines as you possibly can on the slot machine to give you different as many different chances as you possibly could at winning on the slot but this time you're going to be using larger stakes as opposed to the you know 10 p's and 20 p's in the low variance you'd be using like one pounds and two pounds using the high variance strategy and using the high, high variance strategy this is kind of what you would expect to see obviously the ev line is the orange line and the profit and loss line is the green line again and as you can see i was just continually losing money using the high variance strategy and we get to this point here at offer 23 I have a win which puts me back up to zero, puts me back up to scratch and then I start to lose profits again. Uh, and then we get to offer 53 and I have a massive win which puts me back to EV, just underneath EV um, and back in profit again. But for a long period of time for 53 offers I was losing money. So the high variance strategy, although you're going to get to the same point eventually, um, it is highly variable. 
uh, as it says, that's a highly variable strategy. And with this strategy, you'd be using like one pound spins and two pound spins to get the offers done as quickly as possible. So we go back to the other example, if you have to wager 10 pound to get the free spins, you know, if you were wagering 10 pound using one pound spins, you'd only have to do 10 spins as opposed to 100 10p spins. So you can see it'd be much, much faster, but it wouldn't be as efficient in the short term. It would be highly variable, like you can see on this graph here, where you're just losing a lot of time and then you have a massive swing and it puts you back into profit and back up to EV again. So the EV is exactly the same with either strategy that you do. A lot of people find this confusing when, when they hear about these two strategies, but it doesn't matter essentially what strategy that you use because the EV is literally exactly the same and both strategies will give you the same result over time. So strategy one, what are the benefits to doing strategy one over strategy two and what are the key points to strategy one? Well, strategy one, it does take lots of time, as I, as I mentioned earlier, because you're using small spins, using like 10 P's and 20 P's to get to wager to get your free spins. So if you're doing 10 pound of wagering to get some free spins, you'd have to do 100 10 P spins, which can take a while. Even if you set it to auto spin, which obviously you would be doing, it would take quite a while to just spin through 100 times. So it does take quite a lot of time. If you're doing various offers as well, don't forget, you're not just going to be doing one offer, you'll be doing loads of different offers. Can take quite a lot of time when it adds up. Uh, it only requires a smaller bankroll. So this is really good if you're just starting casino offers and you don't have a, a you know a huge bankroll. You can get, get started with like 50 quid, 100 quid, and you're not going to be in any worries or anything that you're going to run out of money. Because you're going to hit EV and you're going to be profitable on the vast majority of offers that you do because you're going on the low variance strategy. So there you can see that on there as well. Profit on almost all offers. Because you're doing low variance, you're pretty much going to hit the EV of the offer each time, if not a little bit more, a little bit less. But you're always going to profit for the vast majority of times. Maybe like 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10 offers, you will make a profit. And then the other three, you might not do. But you will profit on most of your offers. And because of this, it will feel psychologically pleasing. You will feel good on a mental level to, to know that you're winning all the time and it's all working correctly and things like that. Because you're winning on most of your offers. Um, so those are the four top takeaways from strategy one. It does take quite a lot of time, it's a bit of a downside. It only requires a smaller bankroll though, which is good if you just start casino offers and you just start to make money from casino offers. Uh, you'll profit on the vast majority of offers that you do, almost all the offers that you do. And because of this, it'll feel good on a psychological level. It'll feel really good knowing that you're winning all the time. Whereas strategy two, we're going to strategy two. It takes less time. It takes much less time. You know, you can be blasting through offers in like five, ten minutes as opposed to 20, 30 minutes if you're doing the low variance strategy. It requires a larger bankroll though. So if you're just starting out doing casino offers and you only have like a 50 quid, 100 quid bankroll, although you're going to be profitable long term and the EV is still positive, in the short term, if you run out of money, this is obviously going to be a problem because you're going to have no more money to get to the profitable position. You're going to be stuck uh, you know with no money in a, a temporary negative position and you're going to need more money to get out of it and get the ev back get the profit and loss back in your favor and back up to ev uh, and you will take a loss on most offers as i showed you in that graph earlier you will lose the vast majority of the time although it's really quick and it's really snappy and you'll get through offers left right and center in just a few minutes each each offer you do uh, you'll take a loss on most of these offers because you're going for the high variance strategy and you're using big spins um, and because of that reason, it can be a little bit psychologically challenging at first. So when you first start doing this and you start losing all the time, you're going to be having all these doubts. Is this actually working? Is this worth my time? You know, am I being stupid? Am I losing all my money? All these crazy things. And you're not. A strategy is profitable. It is positive EV. You can't, you know, argue with the maths. It is positive in your favour. But you will be going on long downswings a lot of the time. You'll lose most of your offers. And it is pretty hard psychologically at first to get over that. So those are the four takeaways for that. It does take less time. It requires a larger bankroll, though, which is a bit of a downside if you don't have a larger bankroll. If you just first start in casino offers, um, and you will lose most offers. And again, that's going to be a little bit difficult on a psychological level to handle at first uh, when you first start doing casino offers. But as I said before, I will reiterate this, the EV is exactly the same and both strategies will essentially, they'll give you the same result or more or less the same result over an extended period of time. So ultimately it doesn't even really matter which strategy you do because ultimately they'll both give you the same result over time as it says there on that slide. 
So which strategy should you go for then? Well, for me, what I would do, I would ask myself these three questions when deciding what strategy you want to use for low risk casino. First up, the first question I would ask is, how much time do I have or how much time am I willing to invest into doing these casino offers? If you don't have very much time, you know, you're probably going to be wanting to do strategy number two. Uh, but if you have quite a bit of spare time and things like that, you could probably do strategy one and just take that little bit longer and be more efficient in the short term with your EV and your profit and loss, evening out very closely. Uh, so time is a good question to ask. Second, and this one's really important, bankroll is a really good one as well. It's really important bankroll. So if you don't have a big enough bankroll and you start doing the high variant strategy and you run out of money, 20 offers in, and you're in a downswing, so you've been losing money, as I showed you in that graph, and then you run out of money, you are doing a positive EV strategy and you will be profitable over the long run. But, you know, in the short term, you've run out of money. So how can you keep investing money into it to get into a profitable position? So you need to have a big enough bankroll to do the high variant strategy. So if you don't have a big enough bankroll and you're just starting out, maybe you'd want to focus your energy on the low variant strategy. Take a little bit longer to complete the low variant strategy, a bit longer to complete each offer. But, you, you know, you've got no risk of running out of money. Uh, and, you know, it's going to still be, still work out in the same way. It's just going to take you a little bit longer to do. So time, number one, and bankroll, number two. And number three, mentality and your own psychology. Can you handle doing the high variant strategy? Or will it drive you insane continuously losing your money over and over again? Will you be able to handle the fact that you know you will be profitable long term, but over the short term, over this period of time that you're in, you're going to be losing lots and lots of money. Or it might feel like you're losing lots and lots of money, even though over time it will even out and you will be profitable. Or will you not be able to handle that? Will that be too difficult for you to handle mentally and psychologically? If so, if it might be too difficult for you, maybe do strategy one where it's taking a little bit longer, but it's highly efficient in the short term as well. So you're going to be pretty much hitting the EV of each offer every single time, if not making a little bit more than the EV or maybe a little bit less, but you're going to profit on the vast majority of offers that you do in the short term. So mentality and psychology is really, really important. Um, so there's just a breakdown again, just a final breakdown. Strategy one, max lines, min stakes. Low variance strategy, you can see how efficient that actually is over the short term. A little bit of variance, shall we go over EV, then we go under it for a short period, then back over. But you can see the correlations really good between the EV and the profit and loss over time. Whereas strategy two, I'm not sure I only have half of this graph as well, by the way. I couldn't find uh, the full graph. I only could find this half a graph. But basically, uh, strategy two, the low, the high variance strategy, you can see I was going on a losing streak for a long period of time. And you've got to be able to handle this. You've got to be able to handle these, these, um, you know, these losses, these continuous losses. And then obviously back to even again there and then losing again. And then eventually a big profit, which puts me back to EV or just underneath EV, but back in profit. Uh, and after this graph carries on, obviously I don't have this here, but I kind of go back to a losing streak again to about here. I think it was then a big profit comes again and I go back up to EV. And that's the way the high variance strategy works. It's just very, very fast. You blast through offers really quickly and you don't have to waste loads of time on it but you lose a lot of offers and then you just have a big win, which puts your EV and it puts you in a profitable position. So it's up to you. Strategy one takes longer, but it's more efficient over the short term and strategy two doesn't take very long at all. You lose most of your offers, but when you do hit a big win, it pretty much evens out and it puts you in a profitable position right on EV. So they both are the same. They both even out to EV. You can't argue with the maths. You're just going at it at different approaches and essentially different, you know, taking different amounts of time to do it. So strategy one, max lines, min stakes, or strategy two, max lines, larger stakes. So I hope that helped you out in making your decision in how you want to approach doing casino offers. Personally, I did strategy one. It does feel better psychologically to win all the time, but it does take a little bit longer. Um, so you've got to bear that in mind. Uh, thanks very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button just below. <laughs> Uh, the, the video screen. I'd really appreciate that. It helps push this video out to as many different people as possible. And if you want to receive more content like this, tap the subscribe button down below and that will send you my videos as soon as I release them to YouTube. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.